on Saturday the 14th of September 2024, as part of a week's stay around London, I made my way to the Stagecoach Depot Open Day at Bromley. The depot was celebrating its 100th anniversary, and in collaboration with the Open Day, the London Bus Museum of Brooklands had also organised a preserved bus running day between Lewisham and Chislehurst. After watching a few buses, I made the decision to head out and back to Chislehurst, as it was quite a far way out, and timetabled for an hour each way. I travelled aboard a former London transport, Leyland Titan. What set this running day apart from other events that I've attended is that the heritage buses were mirroring the routes of the regular service buses and observing all the stops en route. Apart from the New Year's Day event in Chester, the majority of running days in my neck of the woods tend to involve a bus going to a designated terminus and returning without observing any stops. This usually allows for a faster paced day out. On the plus side, observing all of the stops does allow more members of the general public to have a ride, and this also increases the potential for bus museums to receive donations towards the preservation of their vehicles. A well-timed stop at a railway bridge allows us to catch the Northern Bell charter train, hauled by a Class 67.
there are some really posh houses in this neighbourhood. It wouldn't surprise me if I would have to win the jackpot of both the National Lottery and the Euro Millions to be able to afford one of these. Once we arrived at Chislehurst, we caught up with this Metro Camel AEC Regent. Unlike other open days I have been to in the past, Stagecoach were charging a small sum for entry. However, all of the proceeds were being donated towards the Macmillan Cancer Charity. On a personal level, I did not mind this at all as their local nurses have offered a great source of support to my family in recent years. In total, the depot managed to raise an incredible sum of around £17,200. The depot was still rather busy, and admittedly, I found it hard to try and get some imagery without any young children making their way into shot, otherwise it would have involved some extra work in the edit. I did feel especially privileged, however, to be able to visit an operational bus depot. Sadly, Stagecoach in Cumbria have done away with their open days following the pandemic, though fortunately other bus events have since been organised in their place such as Leyland National 50 in Whitehaven, the Festival of Transport in Barrow, and the Ribble Running Day in Morecambe. I make no apologies for plugging the videos here, though these are events that I would thoroughly recommend that you attend. After spending some time in the shed and in the overspill parking area where I got the chance to speak to some pleasant enthusiasts, I decided to spend the rest of the day capturing the comings and goings on the main road outside.
Overall, it was an excellent day out, and the weather certainly played a part in the popularity of the event. It was also nice for me to attend an event in the south of the country, and I would certainly like to try and attend a running day in either Amersham, East Grinstead, North Weald, or even at Brooklands next year. If you would like to follow me, please feel free to press the subscribe button. Be sure to turn on notifications so that YouTube will actively notify you when a new video appears. If you enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. And if you would like to support the channel to be able to attend more events like this one, you can tip me on Ko-fi or through YouTube's Super Thanks button. Thank you very much for watching and take care.